First of all, I'd like to say good afternoon to all the teachers and students here. And I am very happy to have this opportunity to be here with you all and have this chance to engage in conversation. So uh, the topic that we're going to be mainly discussing this afternoon is the mind. How many people are there today who understand Chinese? Please raise your hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so because there are only a few people today who speak Chinese, I'm going to speak in Tibetan and um, translate into English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what I'm talking about today is the mind, how to bring peace to the mind and how to alleviate suffering from the mind. Um, I'm going to talk about this from a general perspective, not exclusively from a Buddhist perspective. Uh, but the uh, methods I'm going to talk about and the ideas I'm going to discuss, their origin is the Buddhist tradition and in particular the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Uh, and these, these methods are ones that can be used by any person, regardless of what their uh, religious faith is. They don't have to have uh, faith in Tibetan Buddhism, for example. These uh, methods, using these methods, doesn't turn one into a practitioner of uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Mm, one can adopt these methods and put them into practice regardless of whether one is a practitioner or is not. Uh, so I'd like to start off uh, today by first addressing what do we mean by a human and in particular what does a human need, what are human needs. First we need to uh, identify these. As to what a human being is, there are various explanations offered by different religious traditions, different philosophical systems. There are, in general, many uh, different opinions on this. Uh, 
However, putting it simply, what we are in essence as humans is a composite of our bodies, our material aspect, and our minds. As people, there are, as there are, we have needs. We have uh, a certain set of needs. Of course, our minds tell us we need this and we need that, but often the things our minds tell us we need are not things that we in actual fact do need. If we're going to identify what these basic needs of humans are, essentially they are of two kinds. Physical needs, those uh, pertaining to our bodies and psychological needs. Basic needs of our body are obvious things like water, air, uh, clothes to wear, etc. These are our physical needs. Uh, that if we don't have these things, if we are unable to fulfill our needs, we don't have water to drink, we don't have air to breathe and clothes to wear, then we uh, encounter a lot of pain or suffer and pain and suffering. This is something that everybody knows. Uh, so, being a composite of um, our material form and consciousness, we essentially have needs in respect of two scopes, those of our body and that of our mind. Uh, the needs, our physical needs, the needs we have uh, stemming from our uh, material form are very obvious. Um, we understand if we can't satisfy them, then we um, have lots of uh, suffering and a lot of people pay a great attention, a great amount of attention to these kinds of needs. And even though we clearly have psychological needs, many people don't pay proper attention to these and in fact don't have a clear idea of what our psychological needs are. The scope or the realm that we pay the most attention to is the material realm. It's the realm that um, most studies are, are engaged in. It's the realm that most work is engaged in. This is the area that we pay most attention to. And 
And as a result of this prioritization of the material realm, 400 years ago, starting with the beginning of the, uh, with the onset of the Industrial Revolution, many people have toiled very hard over the centuries, and the result is that we have achieved um, progress in the material realm. Uh, but at this point where we have achieved such great material progress, the, there is nevertheless a phenomenon whereby people who are very uh, materially affluent nevertheless feel that they um, haven't got enough, that they haven't, they're, they're not yet happy, they're not yet satisfied. Uh, during uh, bygone uh, centuries, during the 18th centuries and 19th centuries, many people were of the view that um, that if they uh, had material riches and affluence, then all their problems would be solved. But based on this thought, um, we uh, achieved a great level of material affluence, and it's at this point that people are now starting to doubt this idea that material uh, wealth alone is able to bring us happiness. The general feeling is that we need something in addition to this. Despite the fact that many people these days have uh, very good standards of material living, they have uh, big houses and they have nice cars and uh, good things to eat, good things to wear and all of these, uh, all of these things, nevertheless, uh, they still feel a sense of unhappiness. And in terms of this situation, um, in my opinion, it seems more extreme in the West. Of course, there are many different kinds of mental illness, but the most uh, serious one at this point in time is depression. Uh, from the 1960 to the year 2000, over a period of 40 years, the number of uh, depression sufferers increased tenfold. Uh, uh, in the 1960s, uh, the average age of a depression sufferer was uh, 29. Twenty-nine. But since the uh, 
onset of the new millennium, the a average age of depression sufferers has been uh, gradually becoming uh, lower, such that the average age of a depression suffer sufferer these days is 14. So this shows that now even children are suffering from depression. So given this to be the case, many people are clear now about the fact that our previous idea that uh, material wealth would uh, bring us every happiness is in fact are mistaken many people uh, know this to be mistaken now so uh, many people now um, are clear that uh, happiness is not derived entirely from material objects and know that there is something that we need in addition to or beyond this. But as to what it is, many people are very, very unclear about it. And in this situation where we're not sure what it is that we need, we turn to uh, psychologists and psychiatrists and ask their opinion. Then of course, in terms of our physical needs, we're very clear about um, how to go ad about addressing them. If we're thirsty, for example, we clearly know that we need water. If we're cold, we know we need to wear clothes. These are very easy and straightforward matters. However, in terms of when we uh, uh, need have needs in uh, regard to other areas, we really are not well equipped to uh, find the answers for ourselves, and so it's for this reason that we turn to uh, mental health professionals for the answers. <laughs> And when we turn to the mental health care professionals, many of them these days are simply providing medication in order for to bring us happiness to our minds. Uh, this is quite often the result when we turn to mental health care professionals with these questions. Um, in the year 2006, uh, seven, several hundred billion dollars were spent on antidepressant medication. Whilst taking this kind of medication can bring some temporary alleviation, it's not able to completely eradicate the source of our uh, mental problems. 
Simkum commanding at so then is sim tamat, the sim good nut savan and mepashi matapa matsu. Then is simkum good nut the mambo manta mambo zana. Then is mantela, then is doshokon nipa mambo yongundus. So, in addition to not only being able to solve our problems at the root, there are also many negative side effects that uh, come about through depending on this kind of medication. Bernang at so tonsir katini nut mayonwa katini manta mambo zavjana. Then is mutela. This Samlo Mambo Tayagatini Nipa Marinam Nitini, Samlo Kalayana, Samlo Tang Mataba, Murlimbando, or Tendichang Dusi. One of the um, side effects is that the um, antidepressant medication works to suppress, in fact, some of our thought processes, and this is one of the negative consequences. Then it didn't eat anything at so simcum gumbarian, then it was so same thing at so same the country in Yapo Shimandus. Um, many healthcare professionals, in fact, don't have a uh, proper understanding of the mind. Then, also, Tarta, Tavshi Mene, Tini, Bena, Kashi Kashi Bena, also, Tonchir Kashi Kashi Ganala, Tani, Sim Martin, Nitin, Jerry, Nikum Natani, Mosar Tini, Mosher Kubazina, Mosherzina, Kubazina, Ba, Jubata, Kuba. Oh, then you are it? Nala Sony Muni, Mambo Mulgore, then Muna did the same town road, and I'm not sorry, Jesus, then you go Motagore. In some countries, there are places in, in big cities, there are places called crying bars where people go in and cry and sob and feel a bit better after they've had a crying session, but afterwards they have to pay money for the opportunity. Yeah, then it's Taro. Tarun Fashi Pazina, Fashi Pa, Kupa Fashi Pazina, then you also come by on Allah, Nyamchandra, then you just no kind of shirt them down Mambo Yore, then you see Martin and Allah, then you will journey Mambo Mambo Charlie, then you share a young Chasana Yango Motagori, Kimbatagores. Uh, there are also places called um, Vent Your Anger Bars where <laughs> um, customers can go in and uh, take an, uh, an instrument and um, smash all the things in the room, including TVs and things like this, and after having vented their spleen, they have to pay the price. These are really um, <laughs> poor methods for approaching our problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the reason why people find themselves resorting to these really um, inferior um, uh, strategies or, or methods of alleviating their problems is because they don't understand the mind. They don't have a proper understanding of what the mind is. Uh, generally speaking, if we look at the sciences in the West, whether it be physics or other fields of science, they're um, extremely advanced in their findings. However, in terms of uh, psycho psychologies, um, uh, insights into uh, what makes the mind satisfied, um, there is not this extent of um, advanced research. The reason being that um, often uh, uh, psychology looks at the external manifestations of uh, situations like um, anger and um, sadness and um, greed and desire rather than looking at the root of the mind. So 
And so it's for this reason that um, people with all kinds of uh, mental uh, health issues are simply prescribed with medication which may help them in alleviating some of the temporary um, symptoms but don't address other problems. And this, in fact, really causes many people to be uh, laid to waste. <laughs> Tarta then it's Hanuk and Nani, Mukumur by another, Zinger by another, then it's Hanuk by another, the Sunalana, then as a same Gotola Natun, Natun de Tasuchi at the Eomeotana, the Yomaris, the Sunalana, Savani Yomaris. And certainly in other fields of science, such as, you know, physics or um, other fields of mathematical sciences, there are uh, no one really uh, looking to apply their research to how to heal the mind. Um, it should be the case, actually, that of all the various scientific disciplines, that the discipline that would have the results for um, dealing with the problems of the mind would be psychology. However, psychology at present doesn't offer us with these solutions. Um, but saying that, oh, well, in fact, no one has the solution for um, dealing with the problems of mind. Psychology doesn't. The other scientific disciplines don't. If that's the case, then we'll just forget it. Um, we'll abandon the idea of ever being able to solve the problems of the mind. This is no way to think. This is no way to um, approach the situation. So what we really need to do is evaluate whether or not our traditional knowledge and our traditional systems of knowledge provide us with the answers to these questions. Uh, the reason why we should be looking to traditional systems of knowledge for these answers is that um, in terms of development of uh, sciences of the mind, uh, the era around 2,500 years ago was a peak time in human history. Well, in this century or in this era, we may be um, a people who are extremely clever and extremely mentally agile in some respects. We can only really uh, characterize our advancement or uh, developed state in terms of um, our material accomplishments or external accomplishments, in terms of um, internal or sciences of the mind, development, uh, inner development, we are not particularly developed at all. In looking uh, towards uh, or in looking at traditional systems of knowledge for solutions, we shouldn't um, dismiss them saying, oh, they're religious or they're old and I don't need them on this basis. In fact, we should take an approach that seeks to adopt whatever is useful for us, whatever is beneficial for us, whatever addresses the needs that we have, regardless of um, whether it be um, a new source of information, an old source, whether it be a religious source, whether it be a, uh, a non-religious source, we should take a needs-based approach to our evaluation. Then you also 
Di sarwa ringa mergo, yang nanti yang bar ringa mergo, yang nanti culu ringa mergo, yang nanti jadi tinggi ke tinggi susu pantau yota me jimji ke apa masih pantau yopa teh hak guna yang ngaco tante malin tinggi sini syukri sini tinggi partorna para ibu jana tinggi ngaco lah tinggi nopa mato papa baca cuma terus. If we take a biased approach to different sources of knowledge before we've even researched their contents and have have an understanding of what benefit they can bring us, then this ultimately will not bring us any benefit but only harm. Tini ngaco lo tongchak cikta tongchak nita tini kongla tini ngubu tini di suatu hal yang payah jiwa marisi. Tini meti tini memang cewa tini kau ngaco nangla. Sem gue tolak tu ni pejimjik halipa jahsin buat tu si Indus. So even though one or two thousand years ago um, uh, civilizations were not materially advanced as they are today, there was nevertheless a very high level of research into the mind. Tu ni pernah ngaco tata cari ke tu ni tau ngupula jimjik si ni kosol la tu ni jimjik pe mampu semua ni pe tin rabu si ni. Tini ngaco lor tongchak cik ta, tini tongchak ni ke kong la menam ke, tini sim ke tola, tini jim jik mambo mambo si ni, tini koso la jim jik yang pe haliba mambo yang betop ni ke. So just as modern science has produced all kinds of excellent findings based on their research efforts in the contemporary era, so too one or two thousand years ago did people investigating the mind produce all kinds of amazing results. Tini ti nanti ni terang siapa ti ngaco pernah tini buku tini tak kosong kan? Jemjuk siapa tini jawa yo pati ngaco siapa kaya ni? So really, what I'd like to introduce to you today or talk about today is the findings of this nature that were reached in the Tibetan tradition. Tini pun murk siapa ti tini pamjur kotor ni siapa ni nanti ni tu korang tini jilis rezit. Tini ngama yang tini rezit tata ngama zambalang sama la pamjur yang dia marta tata yang nak pamjur kotor ni tini yang dia cipu maris. From an economic point of view, you could say the Tibetan people in the past and in the present too are relatively back relatively backward. They are not an economically very advanced civilization. Tini ina korang tu kalau tong cak cik tak semja orang la. Tapi mati itu tapi cik rupa tambu yang kan rupa samu yang kan, oh tu susah sama ke tapi tu muka sem sem dah tapi muka cecok tu ni boleh la jemjik si orang ni. However, starting one thousand three hundred years ago, the most intelligent, the most erudite Tibetans began to research the human human consciousness, human life, and the human mind. Tapi tinggi jemjik si pi tapi jemsen ji pernah cecok ko mi cecok ko thola yang na tak ngaco tapi jawa mi ruk tapi cecok la tapi jem di jemshit jab go na pernah tapi boh ko tapi pardu tutur cium boh tawa yang na parcin zambal lang zambal lang ko thola tapi tip cipu na waris. So in terms of addressing or research into the nature of human life, what it is in human consciousness, there's probably the Tibetan Book of the Dead is probably a very unique book in this regard. Um, and much of the contents of this book, um, uh, or this book contains um, ideas which are still being uh, researched, and in fact, um, its topics are also being re researched by contemporary research as well, such as a few researchers at the University of Virginia, and quite often their findings are in accordance with those that are described in the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Tapi sem ke thola, tapi kosong ke jemjik mampu sih ni, tapi sem ke tapi orang sok mi sem ke ngau ngau mati kandisian. Tapi orang sok sem ke jerawat dan rona, tapi jerawat dan rola, tapi jertang telayang korang la, tapi orang sok ke cuni tapi jisi yari jemsun si yari tapi kandisian. Tapi jerawat dan sona, tapi yapu sok la jerawat dan rona kandisian rogo, dubu sok la jerawat dan rona tapi orang natun tapi kandis tak susu rogo. Tapi tu tu sama haliba mampu sih tapi tu dos. Another thing that the Tibetan tradition really researched in detail was the nature of the mind. 
the essence of the mind and the nature of the mind, its changes. Uh, for example, how does it usually, what is the usual uh, natural order of its functioning? If you want to make it change or go in a positive direction, how can you do this? If it's going to change in a negative direction, what precipitates that? Into these kinds of questions, there has been a great deal of research in the Tibetan tradition. And the methods uh, in respect of the mind that are developed from this research are ones that can be uh, adopted by any person. Um, it's necessary that everyone has a, um, a proper understanding of these methods, what benefits they can bring and uh, how they are effective. It's necessary to have uh, this kind of understanding. However, if one doesn't practice these methods, then it's impossible, in fact, to know um, what their nature is, what benefits they uh, do carry. It's like if we are um, going to taste some water until we've actually had a mouthful, we don't know if it's hot or cold, we don't know if it's sweet or sour. Um, it's the same uh, with the practice of methods in relation to the mind. Mm, and I think I have a feeling that if um, people were to make use of these methods, that they would have great benefit for many, many people. So from the point of view of the Buddhist tradition, any of its methods, any of its practices that bring people benefit can be put into practice by anyone. Um, the, there is no um, saying that people can only use them if they're Buddhist. In fact, um, it, if they are benefit, if they bring benefit to a person, then anybody is uh, um, able to put them into practice. Then <laughs> These days, uh, most people rely on all kinds of machines and devices to um, bring them convenience and reduce the amount of thinking that they have to do. So whether it be computers or mobile phones, calculators, etc., they all essentially um, do away with the need for us to single-pointedly think about something, uh, think about it deeply, and solve particular problems for ourselves. Sarshotatasonalamambotati, 
Tini Damson Mambo Mambo Zangato, Tini Shirio, T. Gimsengi, Tini, not the same of Tini Par, Ayani, Tini, Sir Rushi Gunatawa, and Rushi Matunga, Parayani, Tini Royalis. Ah, the other thing is that by every day constantly being on our computers, on our mobile phones, uh, receiving so much uh, informational import and stimulation, our minds are in a constant state of distraction. The <laughs> So it's like um, uh, dropping a very big, heavy rock into a water, the, dis- uh, the disturbance that makes in terms of um, churning up the water. Um, our minds are just like this these days. We know so much, we understand so much, and yet um, it's impossible for us to uh, achieve calmness or tranquility in our minds. <laughs> Narta Pavni, Dani, Sim Martini, Demosini, Dondarchig Latini, San Lotani, Lonjon, Zushi, Tenis, Sambi Nekovna, Tenis, Sim Maso, or Rawan the Mundani, Tenis, Sim de Yusa, Musam, Yunandro, Munandrone, Tenis, Sim Sarajushi, Matam, Chikatola, and Dumatam, Tenis, Mambola, Haliba, Dumber, Mambo, and Guiores. Um, for example, these days in schools, many students face the problem of when they sit down and want to focus on something, concentrate on something, they find their mind, um, without them being able to control it, um, becoming distracted and flying off in uh, various directions. And this is a really big problem that many people have. <laughs> Bernatic, the Jambarna, the Leka, Living Nirk, Lekungana, Leka, Living Nirkana, young, Sim Yabotan Motumni, Tini, Leka Titulatini, Tan Tishor Mambo Mambo, Leka Lake, Nor Leka Toni, Nora Mambo Jon, Tendigiores, and also Leka Mambos of the Sim Cotoni, Zabsin Ligore, the Yena, Leka, the Living Nirkana, Tini, Sim Ayandro, Ayan Sondi, the Ni Leka Titul, Yabos, Le Matab, the Ni, Soso Leka Tola, Norter Mambo Jon. So not only does this bring us uh, problems in respect of our own studies, but it will also have consequences for us in our uh, professional lives when there are many, many tasks that we have to focus on very carefully um, in order to prevent um, accidents happening and other things happening. Um, it may be very difficult for us to do this and many mistakes can occur. So, so, what any shower leka at all and nonchalant sardi, then he pen a mamba and rawata, girgin rawata, then you call leka the Mosian Dandrea young contenders in Nana, then he so so what any leka titola, nonchalant at any Mosian lion nopa mambo mambo in Guiores. And this brings um, uh, inconvenience and harm to others too uh, when. Uh, mistakes in one's own work affect others. So whether it be, for example, a doctor or a teacher, uh, mistakes they make in the course of their work uh, brings harm and has bearing on um, other people. Then is Yamba Latin Nopa Mambo Yon, then is Hati, then it is Tony, then in Yota Mambo Yoni, then is him got all at the more Mambo Yoni, then it Tama Rantok Junk and then you may have Haliba Mambo Dos. And then on account of having made mistakes, then there are um, reactions and um, consequences that uh, arise from that. Many people get upset, get angry, and due to this pressure, there are a lot of people who um, take their own lives. So we really need to be thinking about how to go about uh, bringing our mind into a state of calmness, bringing it into a state of focus, um, a state that is able to give attention to things. Uh, 
Um, and in respect of achieving this, there are a wealth of methods in the Tibetan tradition. Then it has she did so. Then he lost on Tashi that some jat in this garangla. Then he mo jarton chum bum tinti mum mumbo, cotso yam yung gotoni, yamli mumbo shini, or the yam yung gotoni, then it's a young boat, young tap bat in the yamba, most to the rancho shungua, then you get have she is. And these methods have been tried and tested over a period of 1,300 years by tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of practitioners who, by literally practicing these methods, have proven their effectiveness. Uh, when scientists and uh, doctors are testing their various uh, medicines and experiments, they rely on guinea pigs. Then it is all a chocolate, Jimjig Mambo Shin, it in a yanta bar is sona, or dandy and drinking those in it any month, it in a corner of par sora tola tramguiore, mankangana tramguiores. And it is after they are able to prove the effectiveness or safety of their medicine on these animals that they approve the medicine for distribu- distribution in hospitals and the like. Then it then rabbushin in Atun Namba, the Tiniti, Sim Gatola, the Ni Manchutanga, the Tiniti, Tabshiti Soyena, the Ni Mosso Ranga Yamlin Shini, Yamlin Shini, Gum Yamlin Yambo Rambo, and the Tiniko. Yam Yungotoniti, Yang Tabayan Bata, Tankir Tin Ritzartitiniko, so you greet all at Jinni, Jarioris. And it's uh, in a similar kind of way that the in the Tibetan tradition, people have used themselves as laboratories, they have experimented on themselves, and by engaging in practices and by testing and proving their effectiveness, have then recorded their findings in uh, written form. And in terms of um, this method, um, I'd, uh, I'll uh, explain it in a very uh, brief and simple way. What I'm going to introduce to you is a uh, form of this practice or a method that has been stripped of its religious content, its religious thought, and is simply a practice that works upon the mind. So uh, generally speaking, um, from a Buddhist point of view, when a problem arises at the level of the mind, we don't address it by taking medicine, we address it directly at the level of the mind. So we start off by sitting cross-legged. Um, it's best if we can sit in on a comfortable surface, a mat, for example, that is slightly raised at the back and slightly lowered at the front. And sit in a cross-legged fashion like this. And in terms of our hand posture, we place our right hand in our left, bring our thumbs together and hold our hands about uh, the, width, the width of four fingers below our navel. 
Tenim chapa, Iba Yumba Pumba Nika, Pandan di Jan in the Dishin, they go in the Dishin, Ayapoyam and the Dishi, then they got so Jabloko, then he shot so somewhat in the Parthomo, Yabo Yungore, then Yerambola denia, then Nagamari Kibo Yungore, and then Dipar Jan in the Nid de Gores. And we sit with our shoulders slightly uh, raised forward so that our the muscles around our neck are not strained. Then the lipo trambo, she needed the gore, mato, the new year landed the yumba, you landed the young maritamo, she needed the gores. And we uh, adopt a straight and upright posture, not leaning to the left, leaning backwards or forwards. The name. Go on, let's go in the dinner bush. Go raise it, then it go on, let's go go in the dish. And I am to go marries it, and the dinner bush. Go raise and tilt our chins slightly forwards, not too much. Ah, then he on you cut the lita, you lata, mulata, and damarat in the shin under the marit, then you zum jana under the marris, and you shit some banda with the ding go raise, then you some mar dunla marat in the dish, and they go raise in you. And our mind, uh, not our minds, our eyes, we keep um, half closed, not tightly closed, not fully closed, and not looking all around the place. We gaze slightly downwards past the tips of our nose. Then you walk the Ninga to Partan, Tsurion, the Susama, Kata, Na, Nikaganani, Tomo, Shinitani, Parandro, Surion, Tenishigore, then I saw. And our breathing, we just inhale and exhale naturally through our noses and mouths. There's no need to regulate our breathing, make it faster or slower. That then we are going to get to the end of Maso simtila targo ores, and also simtila, tini simti candindu, coranga nesser candiri, maso te gilunche go ores. And after we have uh, done these uh, preparatory things, then we need to turn to observing the mind, obtaining uh, an understanding about the state of our mind. Then you got so simla tavinek and a sim coran candiri, simla tavinek of them, Bernard's hundred pound of boy in nothing at so when we are looking at our mind, we need to have a method for doing so. Scientists, when they observe the mind, they look directly at the brain uh, in order to derive conclusions. But this is not the right way to go about doing it, and we don't need this way. Ona kandi she go reza na ngaso simte ngaso nyukata na arukamare na wa nyana yang ko mare then ngaso pena chamthong che shir she wei jin o ten ji un tre cha ta na ko mare gang yang ko mare ngaso sim khwarang ga ta go re with our, our mind it can't be seen by our eyes it can't be smelt by our nose it's not something we can see through a microscope what we do is we use the mind itself to uh, observe itself then it didn't come down at so one lang as so one telang as so 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 one tela. Then you go to Jagores, Penato, Cheshire, them down the Tishi in Nanda. The young man not any tele chungo mubosi in Nanda, counter mubosi one landed Jagores and also a Nico Partana, Tonsa de Latin, the new Mubos and Jagores. And we need to place an object in front of us. So, for example, a bottle of water like this or an object uh, of a smaller size. Then you will put a coron, a gato pena, marme, then you messy in town, then you are, then you girl, then can tend to Jana, then you are, not so chusok, carman down, then you draw young and tend to Jana and Jacamare, not so nicotana, coron, or you are mepat and in Dundun can tend to go race. So the object that we uh, place in front of us needs to be one that is solid and still. So placing something like a candle or a butter lamp. That the flame, where the flame flickers, or a watch where the hands tick, um, is uh, too distracting. We need to place a still object in front of us. Then it then is just a pen and also chin the towels and then is just a then it did throw up pen and also chew it. Then it did talk a remote chill up. Then it also remote chill up. Some of the jacket symbol that I am wearing also did throw it chung chung chill up. 
Rumunda boy, Yana Kato Karu, Yana Maru, Yana Tele Jamba, Rumut in the Rumu Chigla, not so Nikhtad Gores. And on the object that we have um, placed in front of us, we need to focus on a small part of it. It might be a small symbol or a small picture, it might be a patch of colour, but we need to choose a small um, space or area to focus our attention on. Karte tini koran namba tin namba la tapa yonkhen o tin tin da yinna tin sanji shakya tapa kondra yana tin ning gerrumbo che kondra yana lama jamba kondra tin ji ge thangkha chung chung tin ji go re chimbu yinna chimbu chokomar zi yana ta pe da ga zo thu gang yana sor mo je ta chung chung yinna sor mo je chimbu yinna zhe gang tin ning da la zhe gang zi re tin ji ge chung chung zi tin ngon la zhe ni tin ni te la ta na zhe ge ris if um, if a person has uh, um, is Buddhist, then one can use um, a small statue of the Buddha or a tankar of the Buddha or Guru Rinpoche, not too big, um, maybe just the uh, length of one half an arm span and say four fingers across. One can use this instead of another object. <laughs> Mti um, if uh, one is a Christian, then one can do the same with an image of Jesus or with an image of the crucifix. Um, one can obtain exactly the same results by uh, focusing single pointedly on such an image. And if you're a person with no particular religious faith, then it's fine to use any kind of object and any kind of small-sized object and place it before you and focus on that. And what we do is uh, focus our gaze um, single-pointedly on the object in front of us. So we uh, don't, we shouldn't blink too much, we shouldn't move our eyes around, we should um, strive to gaze, fix our gaze as um, single-pointedly as possible on the object in front of us. Tenisimgunala <laughs> The goal is. So ordinarily in the course of our study lives, we think a lot about whatever our particular discipline is. If we're religious, we might um, have a lot of thoughts in the context of prayer. But when we're engaging in this meditation, we need to be um, sitting in a state where we are not thinking about anything at all. So whilst we're um, sitting here in this state, we uh, shouldn't be thinking about things in the past. We shouldn't have be, say, reflecting on things that happened when we were small, for etc. Our thoughts shouldn't be um, uh, thinking uh, around things that have happened in the past. 
Then in Maum Bala, Tininga, Maum Bala, Gariche Gore, Penas Hanging Gariche Gore, Tinny Lo Jima Gariche, Tinty with some lots of my own, Tinny Mepashini, Tinny, some Jogo, some Joshe Gores. And we should similarly abandon all thoughts and um, imaginings about the future, what we're going to do next year, etc. Then in Acho Tasta, Tinny Semtila, Tinny, and Koranga Namto, Mambu Mambu, Tinny, some lot of Ajing Mepashini, some mar, Tinny Acho. And we shouldn't um, have thoughts of, um, of a present nature, thoughts about things that are happening right now. We should allow them to uh, rest as well. Penangato Yamso and Alla Lung Yamnatini, Barlam Ramara Mambo Mambo Mambo, Younger Chimbo Haliba Mambo Younger Tini, or Lung Teso Mesona, Tini, Yamso Pen, Jambo in the Rendo Pen, a Tenda was Rendo Resident Dishina. And if we can do this, then our minds will become still just like the ocean when the wind has ceased and all the waves subside. Then a young Zayan Penangatun Trisha, Trunkort in the Tini, Namjin Tini. Hajan Yobo Gonitin in Corcayona, then in Lamsang Dugjana, then in Takoran Shawaka machine in Lamsang, then in Dugjak Barepena, Tenda Boshi, Namjin Natsot in La Base Gona, Natsot, Namjin Shawali, Mambo Mambo Lini, then in Sam Gorita, Sama Mar Dugnit in it, Shawaka Mashiva, then in Sam Jarjana, then in Tikaps, then in Natsot Sim, Pe Tangmo, or then in Zingores. Um, it's like a, um, a machine whose uh, parts and cogs are usually spinning, um, but when it, it uh, is turned off, it, the, the machine rests in a state of stillness, and we should aim to do this with our mind. Um, if we can do this, then we will find that our mind, in fact, becomes very pure. <laughs> Then in Namkayosa, then in Nuka Namka Latani, then the Shini, Rungo Tates and Tumbondo, Yana Kamban Tombo, then the Yona Chaki Yona, Titolandini, then in Nuka Namka Latani, then in Shina Chokorin, also the Pena Chil Hakandada, Jamba Dinichi, Ramona, then the Martana Chokorin, Muka Namka Latani, then in Sim Sama Mar Namton Ramada Mamboyatis, or Sama Sam Joshi Jana, then in Koramar Jindro Ris. Um, so in a place like Canada where there are beautiful clear skies and places like Tibet where there are skies like this, we can also do this meditation by simply sitting and staring into the sky as well. In any case, what we are aiming to do is to let all of our thoughts subside and simply rest in a state of uh, calmness. <laughs> Yona Sabo made Yona Tinich Dunit in it, Chimbo 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 Tinir Dunit in the Jerry. Oh, then you look the Mepashi Jana, the Yana Meti Good Yavjana, then you call on Jambo and Dores, Tapena Tinder Boris. And so uh, the way it works with our mind is similar to um, an electric stove. When the power is on, it's able to boil water, and the water um, is able to come to a very fierce and rolling boil. However, when the electricity is turned off and there is no more heat, then the water um, eventually comes to stillness. And this is what um, we should be aiming for with our minds. Um, if we're able to practice like this, then there will be moments, there will be occasions when we will have um, really good results in terms of being able to sit in, in stillness and calmness. But there'll be other times when, um, after the, the space of a bare minute, our minds will be um, um, afflicted by distracting and disturbing thoughts. But this is okay. Uh, we take things step by step, and with practice, our uh, results will improve. Then in Namjin, in Nangato, Samotin, Nick Jovinikla, Mato, Nit. Matoba Jambati, Nato Tisunish Tabjagani, Naso Nichi Chipote Mato Jambati, Naso Sim Gutini, 
parte ni ngupo jamba sola samlota jamba sola jimjikshi jamba sola tokshoshini parte ni tokshoshe ore khoran tsirta yo maris in the uh, space of 24 hours with the exception of our sleep time our eyes and our sp- senses spend their entire time in a process of analysis and observation and examination of the of objects in the external world around them so they're constantly engaged in an external process of invest in external um, action of uh, investigation um, but it's very seldom that our senses turn inward on themselves then it tik asunga so tin sure ko tin ngubun do so tin yakbo yinda mayen tin dikbo yinda mayen rentang yo ta me deso hako ore deso ngazo te torna she ore ma to ba te yakbo yin men tankin a te rentang yo men tin to tambe shin kan ko sim te la ngazo torna she ore mar je sure ko ngubun de yakbo re mar e tin ri ze re ma to ba ngubu yakbo re mar e zenkin te garin do ze te ngazo san lo tang mar e je namjin and uh, when we're doing this, when we're in this process of evaluating the objects we see in the external world, they're, whether they're good, whether they're bad, whether they have value or not, we're focused on the objects that we perceive. Um, and we seldom, in fact, are really looking at the voice that is assigning or ascribing these values to the objects or the mind that is examining these objects. <laughs> Then Yirjung Yabuza got in rubber the Langa Sotana, Masotini, Sim got in Sim Saman rubber got all your own rubber yabo yam the Tindi, Ni Yabori, Rayak bond the Chiak bond the Tindizi Amatoba, Rapper Yaka Parchetik and is a Yavin thing, as on Dang Yabgomarin, Rapper Koran Yakmaya Shakaris. It's like when we look at a photograph of a beautiful landscape, uh, we are usually captivated by the features of the landscape, commenting on whether they're, you know, whether it's beautiful or not. We very rarely turn our attention to the camera, the machine that uh, manufactured the image that we're looking at. Then it then Raboshi nipe na ngaso sim na dumri yong ine kumna. Oh ngaso dumri yong kumna ngaso sim ngachik kumna tu dumri reze ngarang so tindi kapsa dumri tela tindi dang jam ni tindi chegere mau toba dumri to sim nyam sim yong kyo tindi nyam sim yong kende kandi zgen tindi ngaso dang jam kuma reze. And it's the same when we experience suffering in our minds. What we are um, accustomed to doing is looking to the source of the suffering, thinking about the suffering itself and uh, what has caused our suffering. We very rarely ask ourselves, who is it, in fact, who is experiencing this suffering? What is it that is experiencing this suffering? Dumur Nasopena Dumur Nyo in Nirkabna, Pena Nad Navayananda, Sem the Yonayan, Sem the Yonayananda, the Nigger Capsu, the Ningaso, Dumur Nyam Yum Shinkin, Dumur Nyam Sum Yunkin, Quarrel candidates in Nasso Samlo Shitan, Shisuna, the Cartiti Samlo Tan Shina, Naranto Goa Sarvas Yungores. If we were able, um, in moments when we experience pain in a physical sense or a mental sense, to turn our attention to the experiencer of the pain, then we would be able to arrive at a new kind of understanding. And it's this kind of new kind of understanding that will um, provide us with a great new opening and we in fact need very much this kind of new understanding then it tik sawa da ngaso hako sona then ngaso on chowa na ni chik then ngaso sim kap kap se ke bo yong an dao kap kap se dung ri yong an dao mang bo mang bo zit then ngaso rush zit rush zit na you shi je you shi o ten din da bo zi yin ba hako yong gores you shi you shi Mm. Uh. Um, so by discovering the almost the secret key of the mind, then it will um, open us up to all kinds of understandings in respect of uh, the rest of our life. And in fact, our um, life will emerge as a kind of game. Then it didn't even sound it, some of the roasted about in this course on the dinner at all, not the 
Dungur Mambo Semtok or Dungur Mambo Tatasu Samaya, Tinitavata, Partini Nyamni, Tanghuasi, Parnyamni, or Tinjin Doris. And being able to perceive um, our lives from this perspective where we now see our sufferings and troubles almost as a, a kind of a game, their um, seriousness and their atten- intensity will um, start to grow weaker. However, um, reaching a point when we're able to um, uh, approach things like this is, um, well, this is quite a, a relatively high point of practice, um, and it's not a state or a point that we are likely to reach without a considerable amount of effort. There are some things that are very easy for us to solve, for example, um, what to do when we can't sleep properly and things like this. The <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Through um, engaging in meditation, it's possible for us to bring our minds into a state of peace where all our various uh, disturbing and distracting thoughts are subsided and it's like looking into a um, clear blue sky. And this state of the mind is one where all disturbances and uh, difficulties are absent, whether they be various kinds of mental afflictions, depression, etc. And it's in this state that we abide. And um, uh, from this is uh, described in, in Buddhist terminology as the all knowing consciousness. Or it's, it's also described as calmness or shamatha. Um, and these kinds of meditation techniques are starting to become extremely popular and widespread in companies in America. And uh, bringing benefit to a lot of people. And there's also uh, scientific research being undertaken into the effectiveness of these meditation techniques. 
This research, for example, involves separate, separating meditators into two groups, one group who is practicing, the other group who is isn't, and then uh, measuring uh, different chemical substances in their saliva and gauging the extent to which their um, stress and, uh, uh, has been reduced. Of course, in terms of investigating the state of another person's stress, this is something that we can find out by looking at substances in their saliva. However, in terms of ourselves, it's not necessary for us to do this by looking at our own minds. It's something we can see for ourselves. So this isn't a meditation that requires any other um, any other content. It is simply um, a meditation where all thoughts are um, are allowed to subside and we simply um, abide in a state of calmness. Uh, this kind of meditation, at least at the very beginning, is not something we'll be able to um, uh, will not be able to abide in calmness for a very long, uh, very long periods. At the beginning, it might only be for one minute or two minutes that we're able to sit in calmness. However, it's something that if we persevere in, we'll slowly be able to increase the periods of time from, say, five minutes to ten minutes even up to half an hour. Then in Yamas Chiglanga so Parchir Karma Nish Chutsu Sheka, then this gumnate ya boyores. So if we practice this kind of meditation for twenty minutes or half an hour each day it will bring us um benefit. Then if Shirtanga son disut nam gum gogorzina Amu Gumnata Ya Boyores and Amu Atso uh Yarlan Sarvi Jis then he gumna ya boyores. Um, an ideal time to practice meditation is first thing in the morning, uh, just after we've woken up. Um, but for people who have trouble sleeping, then um, it can be good to meditate for 20 minutes or half an hour before one goes to sleep at night. And this also has the benefit of um, uh, preventing um, bad dreams and the like. Then you can also remove the remove the time you come now. So you can remove the time. Then you seem to have removed it all. Then you just go away. Seem you some more some. Then you see now. Just come here. Remove it all. Remove it now. Put it all. Then you do any. Then you also seem to some to remove it all. But then you tell you just go away. Mass me. Then you go away. And if in this meditation we're focusing on on an object, then we need to fix both of our eyes uh, single-pointedly on the object in front of us and not be looking from left to right or moving our gaze from the object we're concentrating on. And from engaging in this um, practice from time to time really enables us to achieve a state of um, uh, great um, peace in our minds, a state where our difficulties and agitations um, are, are lessened or, or um, done away with. Then 
And one of the benefits of this will be that um, by engaging in this kind of meditation practice, we will be able in our work or study lives to better focus on um, individual tasks. We'll be better able to train our attention and uh, focus on the work we need to do. Shirtanga gum the song at Nambar gum to America, Lalin Mambo Tapkin the Kosoina, Nimasila Karma Chu, the new gum natin is uncrushing that in Isla Gumna, the Nita Nipa Yungan, the Tinizay, the Tayana, the Tinti 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 Tonton in that is Nipa Yung Kabores. Some people say um, in America that by engaging in this kind of meditation for um, 10 minutes, even 10 minutes over the course of a week that one can already experience um, positive results. However, whether or not this is possible may be a bit difficult with only 10 minutes per day. If we're able to um, extend the period of time that we spend in meditation, say from 20 minutes to 40 minutes each day, then it's sure we would uh, achieve good results. So even though we are accustomed to looking outwards on the world, when we train our mind back on itself, we will discover all kinds of extraordinary things. Um, in fact, there are some people when they train their mind to look at itself and uh, discover um, things about its nature become extremely um, excited, become extremely moved. Uh, um, the experience that people feel is similar to um, travelers who visit extremely um, beautiful or staggering landscapes like the North or the South Pole or other extremely beautiful landscapes. Um, quite often people in these situations uh, shed tears and in fact some people when they look at their minds um, uh, find themselves in a state of shedding tears um, uh, given what they see. And uh, by doing this, it's a um, we are able to reduce reduce our problems, reduce our difficulties, and um, achieve a happy life. Then it then is a chocolates, Tangato, then it's a chulugla, then it's a tabashita, yana to. And it's fine if we just practice in this way, if we are not a person who um, has uh, um, a religious practice or uh, particularly high religious aspirations in terms of meditation practice, it's fine if we just practice like this. However, if um, uh, a person finds themselves wanting to know more about the mind, wanting to know more about its secrets, then one can, um, there are meditation practices that will enable um, a meditator to progress gradually through levels so that one will um, ultimately uh, obtain understanding of the essence of the mind, the secrets of the mind, and this kind of realization enables a person to experience 
immense transformations um, in their lives. Gumdi Yapu Yaptana at so sim la Jondrishini, sim de Rumbaya, Jimto, 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 so not so sim de Halipa, Stubchi, but in this Yontop Grace. And by engaging in meditation practices, we're able to increase the capacity of the mind um, to a state, um, to a point that our minds can become extremely powerful. Then he sim de Topchim, but in this resona. And when we are able to cultivate our minds to a point that they're extremely powerful like this, then whatever the um, sufferings and um, pain the external world may manifest for us, it won't be able to impact or harm our minds. Yinna However, in general, most people are mistaken in the approach they take. Um, rather than work on the, their minds, we focus um, the majority of our energies on the external world, making our external world very um, advanced. Um, as a result, our minds are very, very weak, so that even the smallest occurrence in the external world has a great impact and harm on our minds. Then it's the answer to what's in chapter 13 in Jigzo.